Hey, it's Chris the Midwest Bass Hunter. Today I want to show you how to fish a buzz bait for bass. All right, so first let's talk about what a buzz bait is. I mean, some of you probably know what it is already, but if you don't, this is a quick little uh, talk about what it is. Boy, it's cold out here. There's frost on this thing. The water's freezing. All right, so a buzz bait is a top water bait. It's got a jig head, a wire, kind of like a spinner bait, and then instead of the traditional spinner bait blades, it's got this little propeller. And then, uh, of course, we got a hook back here, nice little skirt on there, and that's your buzz bait. And it's called a buzz bait because when you when you reel it in, uh, it comes to the surface and it buzzes it makes you know this kind of makes a little uh, ruckus in the water and it just buzzes kind of like a kind of like a whopper plopper or uh, other prop baits although this is probably one of the first ones ever I don't know when buzz baits were introduced but uh, they've definitely been around longer than a whopper plopper or anything else now this is a little bit more difficult to fish than a whopper plopper because with a whopper plopper you just throw it out there reel it in it floats this does not float so you have to reel it right away and so it comes up to the surface uh, that way it'll stay on the surface the blade will keep turning uh, and making noise and attracting fish so the way that this works when the water goes through the blade this blade turns now it does a couple things it it'll it'll make uh, the sound of the blade in the water you know moving around plopping buzzing so to speak um, and then also it does a couple other things it makes kind of a screechy noise from the wire uh, and the blade how they touch and and so it just kind of like squeaks it makes like a screechy kind of weird it's kind of annoying actually um, and then also what it does on a lot of buzz baits not all of them but a lot of them the blade actually interferes with the jig head so on this it hits the jig head and you can see on that jig head let's see if I can show you it's actually wearing into the lead on that jig head. So it's making it's making a lot of noise. And this is, is an Advantage Baits buzz bait. And this is by far one of the noisiest buzz baits I've ever used. A couple things you can do with a buzz bait. You can fish with a trailer and you definitely can use a trailer hook. Um, now I am not using a trailer and I typically don't use a trailer with a, with a buzz bait just because, not because you shouldn't or you can't or it doesn't work or anything like that I just don't think it needs it uh, the fish is coming for the the noise of the bait as much as you coming for what it looks like so uh, the trailer to me uh, I just typically don't use it a trailer hook you can use if you're getting short strikes I typically start without a trailer hook I'm not a big fan of trailer hooks because they foul up you can use a trailer hook if you're getting short strikes then you want to put on a trailer hook because like any top water bait, the fish kind of miss it sometimes. They short strike it or whatever. So you put a little trailer hook on there and and it will do the trick. Now this bait is not weedless, but it's pretty weedless. If you have a bunch of weeds on the surface, this bait is not gonna work at all. It's gonna get a bunch of stuff wrapped up in here and it, the bait, blade won't work. This is not, it's not gonna function. If you have submerged vegetation, you know, beneath the water, a couple, in, even just a couple inches, this bait will do awesome. It will just go right over top of that stuff it won't hang up it's not gonna foul up it's not gonna get any catch any weeds or anything cause you any issues so that's a perfect place to fish this when you cast this thing you want to cast it out there and start reeling right away and it'll come right up to the surface so the rod and reel selection when I'm fishing a buzz bait I use uh, I like to use a bit heavier rod and I like to use a, um, a pretty fast reel and I use braid so right here I got this is basically my all-around topwater rod and I do use it for for this as well um, it's a seven foot medium heavy uh, loose TP1 speed stick and then I have that paired up with the loose tournament MB which is a seven and a half to one gear ratio so it's a pretty fast reel because if you throw that out there with a slower reel it's gonna be harder to get that bait up to the surface so you want to get this bait up to the surface right away so it starts doing what it's supposed to do immediately when you start reeling it so and I'll show you, I'll cast it a couple times and kind of show you how that works. See if I can get some footage, some decent footage of that. Um, but like I said, I like to use 
pretty much my all-around uh, topwater rod. I don't really get too specific when it comes to topwater. I, I like a heavy rod, seven foot, uh, a fast reel, and braided line. So the braided line also helps with getting that bait up quicker because braided line floats. So that's what I like to throw. All right, so I'm gonna cast this now. A buzz bait can be kind of light, so you can fish it, you know, sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to throw on a bait caster. So typically they're not more than three eighths of an ounce. This one weighs three eighths of an ounce. If they get very heavy, then obviously they're not gonna float very well. The other thing about this buzz bait real quick is the shape of the head. That shape of that long head, it's long and it's flat, and that kind of helps it kind of, if you see it, it kind of looks like a boat on the bottom. And that actually just kind of helps it rise up to the surface like a boat. So I'm gonna throw this out there and kind of show you how, uh, show you how I reel it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cast it to that shoreline right over there. So once it hits the water, I start reeling. And if you need to, you can kind of give it a little tug to kind of pop it to the surface. But once it's to the surface, you can reel it pretty much as slow as you want and it'll stay up there, as long as you keep it moving. You just gotta start reeling it right away and it'll pop up. Nice thing about this bait, you can pretty much throw it anywhere and like I said, it's not really gonna cause you any problems. Throw it around wood, um, throw it around vegetation. Surface vegetation, like I said, is a problem. Just kind of start reeling that thing right away and it just pops right up to the surface. And you can hear that thing just makes a ton of racket. I've used lots of different buzz baits and this Advantage Baits buzz bait, I think is the loudest one I've ever used. All right, so quick review. Heavy rod, fast fast reel, braided line, and uh, this is 40 pound braid if you, if you, if you wanna know. Don't fish it in, with surface vegetation, but pretty much any other spot is good. And this thing will work for you all year round. Um, it's pretty good bait. If they're biting top waters, they're gonna bite this bait, so. All right, guys, I will leave a link in the description to uh, Advantage Baits if you want to check out their buzz bait. It's a pretty good bait. It's really noisy. Um, I'll leave a link down in the description so you guys can check them out. As usual, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Hit that little bell so you don't miss anything. Hopefully this video was helpful for you today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.